First responders have been working tirelessly for several days now to find Joseph Couch, but they can't do that on an empty stomach. A dedicated group of volunteers is stepping up to make sure these heroes have a hot meal before heading out to the front lines. Josh Schwartz visited the operation to give us an inside look at what's involved in this effort. Members with Kentucky Baptist Disaster Relief and Laurel River Baptist Association have been praying over the first responders, and they're putting that prayer into action. Wednesday's base of operation was Hazel Patch Baptist Church, where hot meals were prepared and served up to law enforcement. Our mission today that we're working with is working with the command post for the first responders, and we are feeding uh, however many first responders we have left on the, on the site, about 75, 80 meals and uh, bringing them lunch and uh, we've got seven team members with us. These responders have gotten a lot of love from the community, but volunteers here say this only scratches the surface of what can be done for everyone trying to end this situation. We, we want the first responders to know that we're in this community with them. We are behind them 100%. Uh, we love their service. We love what they're doing and we're so appreciative of that. They're doing so much for us. Oh my. I mean, we go to bed safe. We sit out here. We have things out here. We never worry about our safety because they're taking care of it. Laurel River Baptist Association has 34 churches they work with, and that comes in handy in moments like this. But all of this is made possible because we have Kentucky Baptist churches that give and support and serve and uh, make uh, disaster relief Kentucky uh, possible. So we're thankful for all the work and support of our local churches that helped make this up. Uh, they were so appreciative. They need n real nourishment to do the conditions they're doing, the work they're doing, and just to know that we're honored to have a part in providing their needs. In London, Josh Short, Fox 56 News.